Thanks for coming out to Schembechler Hall. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll uh, get to you right there, John Orton. Coach, can you talk about the two guys that uh, were selected as captains and what you think their teammates saw in them that put them there? Yeah, first of all, it was uh, a really good group, and we looked at the seniors and uh, and the fifth-year players who would be elected captain and put it up there on the uh, on the ballot or on the on the screen, and uh, really uh, really good leaders in that group. So it you know, felt like we'd get two two great captains when we voted, and we did. Mason Cole on offense, Mike McCray on defense. Uh, both go blue guys. Both. Uh, both boys to have big years, both both starting players, both uh, very good players at the highest level. So I'm excited about both of our captains. And as I said before, all of our our seniors, our leaders, the way the leadership group is is coming together. On the left, Larry. Uh, are you ready to announce who is starting at quarterback? Have not heard of uh, Florida announce who their starting quarterback is, would be. We'd love to have that information. And, uh, is that a no? So, uh, no, we're not announcing our starting quarterback. Yeah. As I said before, uh, I make, make, people make a lot of big deal about our roster or not announcing a starting quarterback. I have not seen a starting quarterback come out of Florida. and Never any mention of that. Very interesting. So, yes, we'd like to have that information from them. I'm sure they'd like to have it from us, and right now neither is given that information. Any other questions? All, all the way in the back? Yeah, Jim, uh, this is not the first time. You know, this is typical. You normally don't name a quarterback early. Do you have a certain philosophy of why that, that's the case? Well, it's been... Uh, Philosophy is a meritocracy, and there's competition that's healthy and fair and productive. It's been, uh, it's been very good. As I said, uh, uh, it's been a good camp for our quarterbacks, and, and we feel feel confident in our guys. We believe in them. Over to you right here, Coach Dan. Uh, you don't want to tell us, Corey. Do you have a plan in mind? Do those guys know what the plan is going to be at quarterback and into the game week at this point? Uh, we're we're uh, working on it. Yes, uh, we uh, it's been formulated and, and uh, we communicated. Yes. Yes, Steve. Steve. Hey, Jim. What did you like best about your preseason practices? Uh, I've liked the way our team has worked. I like the way they've competed uh, without complaint. Or uh, that's that's been uh, especially especially good. I like the way the teams come together. I like the communication where we are with our football team on the field, communicating calls, and, and I like their understanding of what, what we're doing schematically. Um, I like the way they worked, all those things. We're standing on the left there, Larry. What players' numbers jump out at you when you watch Florida uh, and prepare your team for the challenge and opportunity? Uh, defensively, number 92, uh, number 11, uh, number 7. Secondary. It's a long athletic team, uh, well, very quick and very aggressive. They'll be in, in man coverage and it's an attacking style of defense. Uh, Randy Shannon is an is a outstanding coach and uh, we're looking forward to the competition, find out where we're at. You know, it's, uh, but against a very good and talented team. In the middle here, Adam. Uh, which position group would you say has made the biggest leap from the start of fall camp until today? I point to the offensive line, the secondary, um, tight end group. It's been very good. Running backs, receivers. Uh, yeah, everybody. Everybody has has made strides and improvements. On the left, Nick. Jim, with the offensive line specifically, what? Why are they in that group? Of, you know. That you listed as, as made strides. What, what about them has uh, grown? Or the physicality is uh, it's grown. I, I, the athleticism is, is very good. The um, as we've gone, the amount of mental mistakes have, and mental error have been reducing by the practice. Uh, they, they, 
they're a locked in group. It's not uh, it's not a it's a more focused group. Uh, and that's uh, been improving as well. It's not a, not as much fun in games and joking and laughing and that kind of thing. Uh, they seem they, they are very focused and improving. Have you settled your five there or is that gonna go on for the rest of the week? Yeah, we're we're uh, we feel like we are in a good place there. Aaron, all the way to the left. Can you settle anybody, or is anybody broken out at quarterback? Yeah, uh, at quarterback or quarter? Quarter. quarter. Uh, yeah, Lavert Hill has uh, has been extremely good. Uh, Brandon Watson and, and David Long are doing extremely well and competing for that second starting spot. Jalen Kelly Powell is is on the rise, a setting player, both as a safety, a corner, and a nickel. And it's coming along. It's coming along in the secondary. Defensively, as, as, a, as a unit, uh, seeing the same thing. They practice after practice. They're really they're really knowing what to do and executing right now. To your right here, Coach Bojo. Jim, with a, such a young team, can you see development in practice, or are you still not sure until you see them in the game? Do you, do you know what you have now, or do you have to see it again? Well, I think you see it now, and then that's the game is the next step. Taking things, uh, what they do in practice, and then, and then taking that next step to the game. But, you know, always been a believer that things you do well in practice, you're going to do well in a game. Accurate in practice as a quarterback, accurate in the games. That, uh, uh, excuse me, that uh, that kind of philosophy. But yeah, there is another step to playing in the game. Do you feel good about that? They're ready for that step. Well, I mean, I, it's it's my job to to worry about every little thing right now. You know, and uh, always felt it better to to worry before the game than during the game. So yeah, we're continuing to to try to think of everything that we can and get our players prepared for their first game. Hey, Coach. Uh, Mason Cole and Mike McCray were both here in 2014 when the team had a losing season. How does that experience help shape them into better captains? I would probably be a better question for, for them. Right behind uh, John. Coach, uh, what sort of fall camp did uh, Tyree Kinnell have? And how ready do you feel he is to go into this season? I uh, feel like he's had a very good fall camp. I think he's ready, ready to go. He's uh, he's one of those hardworking, that's important to him, very focused uh, type of guys. And uh, he's got experience, and, and uh, he's had a very good camp. Front here, Adam. Jim, uh, last week. Uh, Khalid mentioned it was more. Khalid Hill mentioned it's more all business mentality. You just mentioned with the offensive line more focus. Is that so? Focus is it more because of you or is it more because of the players? Is this more player led or is this you more on your end? Well, I think it always starts. I feel like anyway that it starts as a coach and it's your responsibility uh, for everything and leadership that you provide is. Is, uh, for most everything, and then as you go, I mean, you you start deputizing captains and and leaders and and delegating a, a good share of that leadership, not all of it, and because uh, you know, your duties and your responsibilities dictate that that uh, as a coach that you you are responsible and and you have to fulfill your duties, but there's you are deputizing the players to. To, to take the ownership and, and take a good share of the leadership themselves. When you sit back and, and watch them kind of follow your instruction, and, and you mentioned you know you deputize the leaders, when you watch them kind of carry out what you want, what are what are your thoughts? Like throughout practice, throughout camp, how, how would you grade that? Like? Appreciative. Uh, that's, uh, that's, what a, that's what a good team does. I mean, they, they come together, they get all, all together, all in the all on the same page, and, and uh, it starts uh, starts with coaches, players, the by position, uh, by units, and by the by the entire team. We have time for two more questions. We'll start in the back left, Chris. Coach, 
Can you talk about the defensive line depth and how that's progressed? Yeah, still still working uh, on that. It's not not a finished product yet. Uh, <coughs> and then some will you know, some some areas that that included. You know, there's there's the practice, and then there is the next step of of the game. But there'll be there's still opportunity to be had there, and positions to be solidified in the defensive line. Last question. Yeah. I think we're good with the starters. Last question on your left, Larry. Coach, uh, talk about the magic of college football, how there's no preseason that anyone gets to see at least, and teams like you in Florida and um, Alabama, Florida State, right away are going to really see where they match up, and everybody else will too. Well, I would do unique would be the word I would use uh, in place of magic, uh, because it is. Uh, there's no other sport that it – I can think of right now that doesn't have a preseason or an exhibition season or a spring training uh, in college or in professional sports other than college football. So uh, that's the you know, exhibition games. So uh, it's, it's unique. It is, uh, it is what has always, it has always been, is, and, and for, the foreseeable, for the foreseeable future is going to be. So... Uh, uh, that being understood, better be better be ready to play the first game.